Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Sarvi Gene. Today, we're back on the Man 24 content. Back on the Man 24. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best 98 overall player to pick, man. As you know, in the chocolate shop, in the store, you can pick a free 98 overall player. And yeah, I'm going to show you guys the best ones to pick. There is two releases right now. Not sure about release three. I don't know if there's going to be one. I don't think so. But as of now, right now, um, there are two releases and two sets of 98 overall players. I'm going to show you guys the best ones to pick in this video man so yeah if you guys do enjoy man 24 content drop a like on this video subscribe to the channel we're on the road to 800 subscribers man um yeah we're on the road to 800 um we hit 700 not too long ago so i want to thank you thank you guys for that uh, for hitting 700 subscribers and yeah let's get into it so if we hop over to the auction house actually we're not really going for that many coins um so around 400 000 coins for each of these players four to five hundred k you see Eric armstead marshall Lattimore. We got Christian Bar Christian Barrymore, Andrew Thomas, uh, who else? Nico Collins, Matthew Stafford. So they're all around, you know, the same range, four to five hundred thousand coins. Even LTD Leonard Williams is ninety nine overall, five hundred thousand. Um, so yeah, they're not too rare. They're not too, you know, you know, like unattainable. They're not too, you know, out of reach for most people. You know, most people should have at least, you know, maybe like be able to afford at least one of these cars. You know what I'm saying? At least like one. So at least 400,000 in the bank, at least 500,000 in the bank. You feel me? So um, hopefully you guys are able to at least afford one of them. Maybe not, you know, this Demarius Thomas, maybe not Keenan Allen, but at least one of the players um, here you guys should be able to afford. So we're going to go over all of them in this video and show you guys the best one. So yeah, over to the auction house. Not too expensive, but uh, yeah. All right, man. So right here is where you guys want to be. Now you could get a 90 overall auctionable. I mean, you could, I guess, for 12,000, you know, chocolates now that is gonna be a long grind i'm gonna tell you right now it's gonna be a long grind i just got like five thousand chocolates like i think maybe two or three days ago I haven't made this video until now i am kind of late on it you know forgive me on that but um yeah i did get it around like two to three days ago so um i've been saving up if you want to know how i'm getting my chocolates how i've been earning them i have a video for that man i have a video for that, my last madden video on my channel go check it out i'll leave a link in the link in the description and that's how i got my chocolates up you feel me so um, at this point, we are able to afford the BND pack. You feel me? The BND 98 overall fantasy pack. We're going to open that up in this video. And as you can see, we only got one of them. So um, we do got to wait on that. Um, so here, we're going to open it up real quick and see which one is the best one to pick. And uh, yeah, man, pretty much I'm going to show you guys every, every single one. I'm going to go over the best ones, in my opinion. So yeah, as you can see, we already we already saw them in the auction house. You feel me? Matthew Stafford, Lattimore. We got CJ Mosley, Graham Moster, Eric Armstead. Bearmore, Nico, Andrew Thomas, CJ Mosley. You feel me? So, a lot, a lot of good options, man. A lot of good options. Now, I'm going to go ahead, eliminate some real quick. Stafford, I think, is cool. Um, he could be good. I don't think he gets Sefi Lee, though. Let me check real quick. Yeah, so the thing with Matthew Stafford, right? He gets Gift Wrapped and Gunslinger in Tier 1. Howard Master, No Look Deadeye, and Pocket Deadeye in Tier 2. Howard Master for 1 AP is pretty good. Gunslinger for 0 is good. However, he's missing the best ability of them all. Best ability for quarterbacks in Madden, and that is Sefi Lee, man. Sefi Lee slash Pass Lee to Lee. I guess it's like the same thing, technically. Um, either one is, you know, Sefi, one is not Sefi. So, um, either way, he's missing both of them. So, that's the best ability in the game, if you guys don't know. And, you know, it's literally been like eight months into the game. So, you guys should know at this point. But, um, yeah, definitely that is the best ability in the game for sure for quarterbacks. Um, just, you know, the velocity on the pass. I mean, you guys should know already. I mean, like I said, we're eight months into the game. You should know that Sefi Lee is the best ability in the game for quarterbacks. He doesn't get it. End of story. You feel me? So, going to pass on that. Marshall Lattimore is really, really good, man. He's really, really good. I will probably put him up there as one of the best ones. He gets deep zone KO and pick artist uh, for a total of one AP. So, definitely a really good option as well. Go over to his numbers, actually. Um, my, my best corner right now, Kendall Foley, he sucks. I got Tron Johnson, I got Jerry Alexander, and I got Herb Adderley right now. So actually, I'm kind of slacking when it comes to cornerbacks. So I could use them actually for my team. So 98 speed, 99 acceleration, 97 jumping, 96 man, 95 zone. So all, all around a really good card. Um, also, you know, if you run zone, which you, you, sh you should be running zone, honestly, because zone is better than man in this game. He gets deep zone KO, which is, you know, the knockouts, bro. The knockouts are so overpowered, and they are, bro, it, 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 literally, it... it the knockouts literally negate height. So if you're concerned that he's like six foot tall, he's gonna get mossed by somebody. No. If he's in if he's in a deep zone on the outside or inside of the field, it does not matter. If he's in a deep zone at all, 
he is not getting mossed i assure you that i guarantee you he will never get mossed like i yeah i literally guarantee you bro the ko's are so overpowered bro if they're anywhere near the play it's, it's gonna be a pass breakup it's gonna be a pass defended it's gonna be incomplete pass every time bro pair that with pick artists he's gonna pick it off so keep zone ko and pick artists for one ap probably the best stack you can have on a cornerback right now so a lot of more definitely one of the best options nico collins good again also a really good receiver um six foot four if you guys remember my you know i had like a video a long time ago when his team of the week card came out i said he was really good so he was actually really really good for me um i got aj brown right now justin jefferson dk metcalf he's better than aj pretty much all around so um definitely a really good card he's taller super fast um can get to 99 speed easily with the you know theme team or with the strat card so pretty much a free 99 speed receiver a lot of more the free 99 speed cornerback so can't go wrong with either of them honestly um nico gets route tech plus i think matchup nightmare for 1ap so really really good stack right there um i would i would not be mad at those so these these two people right here nico or Lattimore. um again you know i say i say this in all my videos when i you know make these videos it depends on what your team needs man whatever your team needs um should be what you go after like it should not be based on who's the best one um whatever your team needs probably is who you should go after so just reminding you guys of that bearmore he's cool zero p inside stuff so he's pretty good um, I just wouldn't personally take him. I wouldn't take a D lineman in a free pack. That's just me. Um, 90 speed. He's pretty good. Pretty fast. Um, good block shedding. 99. Good finesse move. Just for me personally, I wouldn't take a D lineman in a, in a free pack. Just me personally. Now, this guy right here. Andrew Thomas, bro. Andrew Thomas. This guy right here, really, really good, bro. Really, really good. And let me tell you why. Um, in Madden, two things matter the most. On a skill position player, speed. Everybody else, ability. So, Obviously, Thomas is not, you know, skill position because it's a lineman, but 98 strength, 98 pass block, 97 run block. He's six foot five, super tall, you know, big, strong, whatever. His abilities are insane. He gets zero AP secure protector. Now, secure protector is basically edge protector on steroids, bro. So it's edge protector, but it doesn't have to be on the edge. Like it could be anybody. So secure protector, probably the best ability in the game for linemen. Um, he also gets linchpin, which is stronger blocking from all offensive linemen does that work eh, you know what i'm saying like eh, it could but i'm not too sure there's really no way to test it like there's no way to test if your if your line is really blocking like you know amazing or not it's just really random in my opinion so ea just does whatever they feel like at some point so um for me you know what i'm saying i mean they just go off of feeling honestly like ea just does whatever they want to do at some point so abilities you know like that when it's like not really guaranteed I wouldn't really trust it, you feel me? So I would definitely put it on there. Put a linchpin on there for sure because it's zero AP. If it costs AP, maybe not, but if it's zero AP, for sure put it on there. So he gets a secure protector and linchpin. Now that's really key for me because I have like a tight, really, really tight amount of AP that I use on offense. So getting, you know, th these really good abilities for zero AP, really, really good for me. So in my opinion, I think I'm gonna pick up Andrew Thomas just for me. I think he's the best option overall. You know what I'm saying? I, us I usually don't take a lineman. I know I, I know. I just said don't take a lineman, but this is a special case. This is an anomaly right now. This is an anomaly because Andrew Thomas gets two really good abilities, plus he's free and one of the best tackles in the game with some of the best ratings. So because of that, I think he's probably the best option for anybody to take. Plus a lineman, while I usually don't take him, they will have value for a long time. He's probably an end game tackle, honestly, because the abilities... Plus his strength, pass block, all that is not going to run out. You feel me? We're already near the end of the year. So um, he won't be outdated or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. A really, really good option in Andrew Thomas right there. So like I said, linchpin, secure protector for zero AP total. Now Eric Armstead is cool. When he mostly his 99 speed. He's really good as, as well. And CJ Mosley is cool. But I mean, I would not take a linebacker again. Almost never take a linebacker in a free player pack. Like almost never. So um Unless it was some crazy ability, crazy tall, crazy fast guy, I would never take a linebacker in, the, in my free pack. You feel me? So for me personally, right now, I think you know Lattimore and Collins are both really, really good. Um, so I think you know Lattimore, Collins, Thomas is cool. Moster got 99 speed, so he's really, really good too. A lot of theme teams for him as well. So I think my top three: Lattimore, Collins, Andrew Thomas, maybe Moster. You feel me? Bearmore is cool too, but I would not get Stafford. I would not get Armstead. I would not get most you feel me so definitely when you know when you get them but for me personally like I said a lot of more Collins or Thomas now in my opinion I'm gonna take Thomas real quick you feel me 
Really, really good player. I can plug him into the lineup real quick for zero AP. He can make an instant impact on my team. You feel me? So that's just me. That's what I'm going to pick for my player. Like I said, again, whatever your team needs, that's what, you should, that's what you should go for. You feel me? Whatever your team needs is what you should go for. But again, hopefully you guys pick who you want. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. If you guys did enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 800 subscribers. I want to get there very, very soon, man. So drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And yeah, man, that's going to do it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'm out. Peace.